Hello, everybody. And welcome to Crime Time. Uh, I believe this is episode number 16 of the sometimes often played game of Blades in the Dark. Um, I am I'm joined by your favorite criminals. The smoothest of criminals. Certainly better at the crime game than me. Sean and Strash and our, our lovely game master, who I'm sure you all know, John Harper. Hi, everybody. Hey, Hello. all. How's it Hello. been? Good, good. We, we've finally achieved parity with your uh, sometimes and potential rivals, The Last Word. Yeah. Uh, you're both in episode 16 now. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, that my. means we need to start playing every week, Adam. So right, just carve <laughs> a slot in your schedule <laughs> so we can keep up because <laughs> we're not falling behind. Yeah. Uh, well, we just got to get more done per episode. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, chronologically That's... and episode numerically are, are pretty pretty different, I think. It is. We're still it's pretty. True. We're still pretty far away, but that's true. Farther ahead in terms of uh, ground covered. In those yeah. episodes. You, have, you have the advantage of only three players, so it's like you're you're you know we're, style. we're nimble. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. Think. So uh, should we recap what we the, the we just did downtown last time? It wasn't. I believe that we did. Yeah. I think super was, eventful. I think that it was. was. Jam. It was a kind of just sprawling slow paced downtime session yeah we we uh covered up the demon pit with a orphanage yeah. or the beginnings of an orphanage we, we didn't finish it it's that's, a long-term project that's right <laughs> the Kinder Hague. The Kinder Hague. yeah the Kinder Hague home for <laughs> deviant shits or whatever yeah yep um <laughs> I forgot I, about that. <laughs> i've started making Hague as the name of orphans like like orphans right. just take the name Hague is like my kin is like canonical in my games now so somebody gives a Hague that just means that they're an orphan yeah. um i like it a lot yeah that's pretty cool. uh we that's happening we you went after flint to try and find him and found evidence that he's been traveling to the port city of um oh which one is it um elicia elicia thank you he's been traveling to the port city of elicia and that he has spirit warden like cloak and mask uh hidden in a secret compartment had. um had yeah had. You, you grab that stuff. nab that up um we uh RC went and punched a few sailors and found out what the grinders want, which we found out two things. One was that they um, they believe our tattoos give superpowers, which totally they do. Which, yeah, you say that as though they don't believe the truth. That's like, right. they believe that gravity makes things fall. Like, yeah. yes, uh, it is good. They are interested in our tattoos. There's rumors about our tattoos being awesome. And two... We heard word that the Paragon, uh, last time it went up to Lockport, usually just fires a few shots, kind of unloads, um, uh, maybe some warning shots. This time it emptied its entire, all its munitions. Whatever it was doing up there, it was a fight. And uh, so because it's totally dry right now, uh, one, it's presumably possibly an easier target. There's, it has no defenses per se, except for probably 300 men on it that could gall stab you in the eye. Um, and two, they're sending a giant shipment on a special train car uh, uh, to restock it. And normally they would parcel that out. Um, and then I sort of talked to Zathrathi, oh, somebody or another, and she said some stuff. And RC, uh, RC visited Elstara Avrathi, or she visited RC rather. And um, I. Uh, Threw in with what's Captain What's her face, uh, Linnea yeah. uh, Avrathi. No, yeah, right. there was Avrathi. that whole there was that whole thing. There was that whole like, yeah, which of the which of the foreigners do you prefer? Yeah, situation? and uh, I threw in with Ankayat, which is Linnea's family, against Ansarek, which is the other. Each of them have half of the Leviathan fleet, and uh, Avrathi, who's uh, part of House of Nixus, I believe. Um, wants one or the other to take control. So I said, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll stir that pot. So I uh, threw him with your girlfriend or your fiance. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can never remember how like officially along we are there. But... Uh, yeah. 
So I think that was it. And we, we basically, the reasons why we got that information on the grinders was so that we could get them in our court when the crows inevitably go to war with us when they find out that the bill hooks aren't paying up to them anymore. Right. Yeah. I would like to, you know, get paid before that happens, John. Like I would like the bill hooks to pay us before the crows decide that by them paying us means we, they have to go to war with us. But yeah, you know, which, speaking of going to war, uh, as a point of note for those of you keeping score, we got an advancement last time we discussed offline, and we're picking up war dogs. So, yeah, blood so, letters uh, are now war dogs. Yeah, so when you go to war, minus three faction status, your crew does not suffer minus one hold, so we're back to tier two strong. Mm. Um, we're strong again, and your PCs still get two downtime actions instead of just one, so um. Pretty good. We still That's suffer extra heat per score. Whatever. We can deal with that. Yeah. Okay, with this, we've like got some heat reduction. We'll just throw an action in there and then we'll be fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, so that was where we were. Sweet. I did. I made one change at the end of last session. I said I'm going to take trust in me, which is a move I really, really want. But um, I, over the time gone, I decided to take Savage instead. Yeah. Which is a move I was mentioning because uh, I think after the scene with the bill hooks, uh, literally RC's reputation is that there's she'll go to dark places if she has if she can do violence to you she might do horrible awful violence to you, and I think that's both a reputation and also a sort of a a wall that broke in her brain like a, a restriction that she had that's on her herself. Reputation. That's the RC kill promise. <laughs> yeah, I will fucking go to town on your ass. <laughs> you don't even know. So there's. What people have heard, and also the look in her eye that makes it when she does violence, it's scary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, some good stuff. Yeah, I gotta, I forgot I, I have a, a playbook advance that I haven't taken yet, but I, pick I, can't one. I can decide. I can decide on what I want. I'll figure it out eventually. Yeah. Yeah, Cancer only takes advances every three or four sessions when he remembers. He doesn't need them. They're just. Yeah. They're <laughs> well, when you, when you have the I am Cantor Hag advance, like yeah, well, the thing all is, the other ones are peripheral, right? The thing is my character, yeah, my character sheet is already such a shit show mess anyway that I'm like, I don't like, like none of the, none of the ones that are on this sheet really appeal to me. So well, just I pick have, any others. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just kind of like, let's see, what, what's on the vampire sheet? Let me go one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't even really like, I'm just, I'll figure it out, but. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yep, yep. Cool. 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 Yeah. Um, uh, the syndicate is is a thing. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, mm -hmm. the bill hooks are are on board. Mm -hmm. um, the lamp blacks are on board. Lamp blacks are yeah. They're well. The lamp blacks are moving our product. They're not. They're not underneath us. They're not right. Right. They're they're uh. What would you call it? Partners, I suppose. Yeah. Um, in the syndicate, the they they may not think that you guys are running that said syndicate, but you definitely think you are. Semantics are very important to the blood letters. <laughs> yeah, we really care about what words mean. <laughs> uh, right. Well, I think the thing is, as long as Baja doesn't say that out loud in front of Cantor, everything's fine, right? <laughs> That's right, <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you can think whatever you want. Just don't say it where I can hear you. Yeah. It's yeah. Good. Or imply it through your actions. Yeah, or, yeah. or really <laughs> even do anything that would make me suspicious that you don't think that I'm in or, or look like a punk, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. any of those it's things. It's really easy to survive around Cantor. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, so I think we should jump in with a score. Like we're going to do a thing, right? We're, we're, we're getting in a position. We have not been paid by the bill hooks yet. As soon as we do, we know that starts the timer, a very, very short timer, almost like a fuse to when the crows come at us. So before that happens, we want to get the, um, the grinders to back our play. And, uh, yeah. What uh, knowing that we can offer them tattoos, we can offer them information about the Paragon, we can offer them information about the gun shipment. We can just come in and say, "Fuck you, we're tougher than you. Sell our product or die." Uh, uh, I think we should organize a meeting. Yeah, 
or do you want to just kick down doors with the these these rebel dudes like what's their their deal again they don't really actually care about they're just like exiles right yeah they're scope lenders primarily that uh want to break the off the yoke of imperial rule uh most of them are from lockport and they lockport is where all the leviathan blood is refined and it's like it's like la uh levels of smog in demolition man right it's um it's 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 uh the worst oh, toxic environment of of uh, smog so, so still a lot of them have like boils and mutations from being um and uh in in this horrible environment and they're they're trying to throw off the imperial the yoke of imperial rule mm -hmm. whether that means like separating scovelin or whether that just means better working conditions for lockport uh workers i don't know Mm -hmm. That's probably that's probably yeah. in the negotiations. Yeah, but more importantly, they are selling drugs in our territory. Yeah, okay. and being ignored by the spirit wardens, mind you. They're selling drugs in their territory. I don't think uh, that's <laughs> the case. <laughs> See, John, I, mean, I, I think, said John, about you might be confused about whose territory this is. Yeah, I mean... Someone's confused. Yes, that's Definitely. true. There is confusion. Let's just passive voice it. Let's just someone is confused about this. Yeah. Um, there, there has been confusion. Yes, exactly. Confusion, confusion has occurred. It's real. It's real. Um, okay. All right. Because I mean, like all the all the political stuff, I feel like is sort of irrelevant uh, when presented with the they have territory that we could take either by making them do our duty or, like, you know, getting rid of them um yeah yeah they're definitely oh do you want do you want to claim one of their do you want to take one of their claims i mean that's a thing we could do too that's not what i was thinking of i was we thinking can, of making them sell their drugs to be, to be frank uh we've talked about this before and i'm I'm gonna leave it up to actually like you and you and canter and i'll throw a type who, who are we at war with right now just as a quick the Arivians. just that's the it. Arivians. just, just the Arivians. yeah i mean the crows in like a in like a a hot minute, the crows too. So, and what tier are, are these? The Arubians are like considerably higher tier than us, and they're three. both tier three. Right? Yeah, they're so both the crows. Not considerably, just higher. Yeah. 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 Hmm. yeah. We can punch up a tier. I mean, yeah. they outnumber us, but when have we ever cared about that? They have well, better stuff than like us. I was, but... Yeah, like I was saying before, I think that we should go after like the crappiest losers around until there's none left and then we'll be tier we'll probably be tier three by and then they'll just be you guys you'll be the exactly. you'll... so so John, when, once there's no one below us then we start is there a... anyone else besides the bill hooks and the lamp blacks that is contending for territory with us right are there any other smaller crews that we could go beat up besides yeah. the grinders right the grinders are it yeah okay you guys you guys are going to make sure you're at the bottom that is yes that's that is your current plan we want we want to be at the bottom. We want to be at the bottom of the tiers. We're gonna yeah. make there'll be the no. Is, what we're trying what we're trying to do is we're trying to flatten the hierarchy. We want there to be no tiers. We just want the tier to be us. The yeah. tier is an illusion. Everybody is the tier, really. It's I mean, really I mean the tier, yeah. Right. Uh, so one other thing we could do is we could just go kill the crows. I mean, if you just want to kill people and make and make money, like we know the crows are gonna fight us. They're like my two favorite things. <laughs> Well, we could just forget about the grinders and all the research we've done about them and no, getting mean, their I backs. Feel, I feel like we should I feel like we should deal with those those losers. Um, okay. So here here's the thing to, to bring up. Just just I, I don't know why I'm even gonna say this. <laughs> I, I will anyway. I think you should say it, John. So Cheers. as as hawkers, you you kind of have four general categories of acting that you might do uh, you know not the blood letters per se but like if if you were a hawker crew yeah uh <laughs> you, what yeah you might you might make a show of force against one of your enemies which is your your specialty that's something you guys do a lot um you show up you throw your weight around you you know you're marlo from the wire you're like this is mine now you work for me now this is how it is now you think it's one way but it's the other way mm -hmm. uh yep. you know that that's your that's your bread and butter um, and you guys have an advantage. That's that's your thing, your hunting ground specialty, your show of force. Yeah. The other three, I, again, I don't know why I'm mentioning them, uh, but I will. Um, is a sale. You you are, you do a, a significant transaction as a score, because we assume like your guys are selling, you know, in your turf and mm -hmm. in the background. We don't keep track of that kind of stuff in blades. It just sort of happens in the background. Yeah. 
you guys as a as PCs as a as a score that you do for for money and rep is to arrange a sale and that can be with someone who's actively hostile against you you know arranging a sale is pretty difficult but against a crew that isn't hostile to you or is in positively aligned to you organizing a sale of your product to them could could be a score that you do and we did that with the uh when we went to the Ark and Vorn party and yeah. we, uh, and we, mm-hmm. we got some high, higher end clientele. So kids. We've done that, John. Yeah, I've done that. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Once. Um, supply is the other one we get not really relevant right now, but, um, we've also kind of done this too, is what, um, arranging a major shift of product when you, when you lost Harrington's, uh, supply and then regained it by getting the, the new captain of the Nightbreaker to agree to to give you Leviathan blood, um, and finally socialize, uh, which you've also kind of done a couple times, but um, improving yeah. relationships with your customers or or your suppliers or whatever through some sort of social event. Sure, but none of those directly gets us the thing we want, which is no. um, which is support in an upcoming war. So. I think we could do any of those. Like we could offer a sale to the grinders. We could, we could, we could hang out with them. We could, um, we could try and get them as our suppliers. Like we'd start buying this, spark. From yeah, the, them. the but, trick, I think the trick is, is that like with the grinders, um, I feel like they're squatting on territory that we could be using for things that actually matter to us in Duskwall. Like their drug trade is just to found their terrorist war in in the city they're from, right? Like they don't really care about, like they're just getting in our way basically. And even if, and even if we say to them like, Hey guys, you could join our cool drug gang and like, come on board with the blood letters and stuff. They're going to be like, yeah, yeah. Okay. But we're going to use this money for this other thing. And they're not really going to be like in it for, they're not going to yeah, be in it to win it. I, I, so I think we, we organize a sale where we offer them what they want. And what they want is a bunch of guns and bombs that we're going to steal off a train. I know that it wasn't quite, quite what you were going for directly, but it seems like if you're talking about giving them what they want, so they I get mean, out of our way. The long game here, and obviously this is Adam speaking, not Cantor, because Cantor doesn't fucking know how to play the long game. The long game here would be that, yeah, we they just leave. They leave Duskwall, right? Mm-hmm. Because a shit ton of guns. Yeah, like take your guns and there. fuck off to get your home country out. and go right. and fight your dumb war and, and give us all your turf. Yeah, leave us all your turf. Yeah, that that would be that would be great. Let's make the foreigners well, leave. And, and the good thing is that we can accomplish that in one or two ways. We can accomplish that by giving them a bunch of guns, giving them a bunch of tats, sending them off, and having them go win their war, right? Or we can do all the same things and have them go get splattered by the imperial military. Yeah, I'm either about, way, okay, I'm about that. Yeah, we, you know, I mean, I feel that that's good. RC isn't always heartless, but with regards to the grinders, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That, I mean, that sounds, that sounds like a smart plan. Like, cool. Let's do that. So we're going to offer them guns that we're going to steal. So I guess, is this a two part operation where we, we have to go and like yep. make the, make the deal. Yeah. Yeah. Cause we can't just, we're not just going to go, I guess we could just go to them and be like, Hey, we robbed a train. We got all these guns. Do you want to buy them? No. Okay. Fine. We're going to blow you up with bombs. Um, or we could go and get the guns and bombs and then try to sell them to them. Well, it would be a show of force if we I just don't them. I just don't want to CIA Afghanistan this shit by accident and make our own worst <laughs> enemies, right? Like I don't want later, I swear to god, if we're at like episode 32 and John is like, "Cool, so they come back from that dumb country that they're in and now they have all these guns and cool tattoos and they fuck you up." I'm going to be like, "No." No. <laughs> hey, it's okay. We'll have our own warships by then. True. We'll be they'll True. be in crappy Scotland. We'll have all of Duskfall. It's going to be good. By episode 32, you better be Emperor Haig. So that's <laughs> exactly. fine. Yeah. Don't worry. We don't care about the shit. In the so, distant future so of the year 2019. So the, the, the only question is order of operations. Yeah. Do we knock over the train and present them with the guns, which is kind of what we did the last score. We knocked over Corin right, and, the, that. and the butcher shop. And then we came back and said, here's everything you want or fuck you as the alternative. Or do we tell them, hey, join us. Let's the two of us go get the guns. You can have them. We take your stuff. Yeah. I mean, if there was any chance, if there was any chance that we could fail, then maybe it'd be good to have them along as patsies, but we can't fail. So we don't need to, yeah, they don't need to be there because then they'll feel entitled to the bombs and shit. And like, no, I I like, we get the, we get the, first you get the guns, then you get the money. (laughs) Then we get the 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 power. So John, I think we're doing a show of force. Where we take guns, and and then I think we're doing a sale, honestly. 
to be frank, take... I, I think that while I think that it is a sale, I love the idea that the new order of operations is we give you everything you want or we fucking kill you. Right. Yeah. I mean, the conversation we talked about last time when you went to talk to the leader, yeah. Bill Hooks, you were like, <laughs> you can have everything you want or we'll kill you. <laughs> You can <laughs> Look, we just we just want to make things easy for our new business partners. And the just, thing is, we had it in our hands. Yeah. We had the legal document setting an assassin's coming after you that we could hold, which we did. And we had a drug trade that pro was prospering with product, and we had killed her. Yeah, this nephew. is the, this is so, this is just the apocalypse cool. world thing, right? Where it's like you can mark experience and do what I want, or no experience for you, and you have to act under fire. So yeah, yeah so like we're gonna go knock over a train, John. I like it. Um, I was I was thinking, uh, John, before. Um, can I take uh, like looking into a mirror as my advance? Yes. All right, you cool. Can. So now I can always tell when someone is lying to me, so that I can shoot them. Uh, nice. I'm sure, yeah, they, yes, that is definitely what you will use. It's going to be complicated when Cantor starts understanding that sometimes people aren't aligned to her. Uh, <laughs> I can still choose to ignore the fact that they're telling the truth. <laughs> you yeah. can't, you can't turn it off. So, no, this is an interesting yeah. question. RC and Oscar have lots of hidden conversations where we say, sure, and then we make these kind of, these sort of glances uh, at Cantor each other. isn't getting any smarter, right? Okay. <laughs> like, this is not an intelligence bonus here. This is just an instinctive, like, oh, hold on, you're fucking with me. Um, I, as a player, really enjoy when the two of you are smarter than Cantor. I'm going to just, we'll let that continue. I'm, I just, I'm all about I that. also think if you want to at some point be like, whoa. Oh, yeah, later, later, yeah. If I want to decide to start being less of a, an obnoxious piece of shit, then maybe. But oh, yeah, for right, for right now, I, it's very much just about he can smell when people are, are bullshitting him. I'm um, bullshitting him. I like that. This is I just think another that... excuse for me to get violent with someone to be like, yeah, yeah. I'm lying to me. So, John, last time I gathered information about the um, about the shipment in, but can you tell me? Uh, can you recap that for us, so um, so we all know what sort of what's what's going on with our score? Uh, yeah, we didn't get too specific. Um, I think you found out like the general gist of it, which was because the Paragon had uh, used all of its munitions on its last mission. Um, some bureaucrat decided that, that it was unacceptable for it to sit in the channel unarmed, so they overrode whatever normal safety protocols and sensible um, <clears throat> acquisition practices they, they use. And there's a there's a a, bu a bunch of um, shipments are coming into Gaddock Station first and being sort of cor corralled there. They're coming from different parts of the Empire supposedly to arrive roughly around the same time and then those are all being sent on on one train there probably be multiple cars um to uh to paragon <clears throat> and this the drunken uh, loud-mouthed sailors that rc um punched and yeah ultimately kind of roughed up uh, a bit and started a clock to ruin your relationship with the sailors um they some some of those sailors, the, like the reason you know about it is you know that those guys are working the job. So basically, you just have to like watch them, and and you don't know when it's happening. But if you have a lookout or something on one of those sailors, you'll know when the job is on because they'll go and start getting ready to do it. So you have like a way to know when the job is about to start, essentially. Yeah. <clears throat> and for convenience sake and play, we can say you know, and and it starts right now, and we'll yeah. just like, <laughs> sure get on with it, but. Uh, well, uh, yeah, I like it. I'd like to do one more downtime thing because we get it, because we get a free downtime action to do a show of force, which I think this is. Tell me if, if you don't think knocking over this, if I'm... Well, I mean, it's it's like a multi-stage thing, right? Yeah. It's part of the show of force. It's a it's a piece of the of that operation. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah, because like we're not, well, we're not trying to send we're not trying to send a mission a message to like the government that like we'll steal your guns if you fuck this with us. This isn't a show of force against the empire. That's yeah. true, and also this isn't an hundred guns. So never mind. Um, I take that back. Uh, do we want to spend a coin or no? I don't want to spend a round. You well, want to spend? Wait, 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 Sean. What I was trying to say was, if your thing you want to do like impacts what you're going to do to the grinders, then you know obviously then you should take more time for that. Yeah. But if it's if it's for the train job, the train job isn't isn't 
I show close. Okay. Just part. It's a setup to do the thing. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. Then do we want to acquire an asset of, you know, imperial uniforms or something like that so that we can better get our way in there so that we're not fighting from the get-go? Because I think, like, getting the stuff and then fighting our way out is totally a blood letters thing. Right. So this um, is what we need to know now. Fighting all the dudes the whole way is probably not. A what's what's the train job plan? Is it an assault? Is it uh, infantry? Oh, yeah. It's an assault. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is it deception? What's I mean, the... I figure, yeah, I figure it's like blow up the tracks, derail the train, steal the shit, and run off. Like, it's, it's not going to be sneaky. <sighs> well, let's actually let's think about it. Uh, I think RC would object would put put this out there. <laughs> I'm just going to stand on the tracks and when the train hits me it's going to flip over and everything's going to fly out of it. Let's think about it. What we what we want to do here is um what we want to do here is give the grinders something. Oh my god, can we dress up like grinders when we do it? Oh my god, please. Yeah, please, please. well, it's an idea. Yes. We want to, we want to give yes, the grinders we something. We don't want to cause a shitload of imperial heat for us. That's like what I'm we saying. don't yeah. Yeah. So let's dress up like dumb scovelenders. So I'll two ideas. Beard. One is we dress up like grinders. I think that's a good solid idea. Two is that we um we we don't assault them. We we are more subtle about it so they don't notice it's gone until the grinders already have it. And then we kind of step back out of it. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. Because if they're buying the stolen, we want to, yeah, we want to fade into the background and never be a part of that. Um, yeah. Which we can't do if we show up as like, yo, we're the blood letters. No, yeah, we gotta. We, I totally am like all about that. Like, I'll pra I'll practice my my Scots Norwegian accent, and we can pretend to be Scovelanders. Like, okay. all right, hate the Empire. Urgh, they're the worst. Give me your guns. Uh, <laughs> so then, I don't think we're doing an assault plan. I think we're doing a deception plan or an infiltration plan. Yeah. Okay. But what I hang on. You, did I just hear we're going to disappear three train cars worth of munitions so they don't notice they're gone? No, that no, no. Oh, God, no, no. No, of course not. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, we, I thought I heard that. I was no, like, we're, we're going to disappear so that when the Empire comes looking for them and they find these filthy Scovelanders with all these stolen guns, they're like, of course the Scovelanders did it. This is like one of the few times where where I'm, I think that, that Cantor would be happy to not have this pinned on him. Because... You know, th there'll be a tiny part of him that'll die a little knowing that no one will know that they knocked over a train and stole a bunch of stuff. Yeah. But also, like, it would be kind of funny to blame these jerks if we fail or, or like, generate a bunch of heat. It, it further incentivizes them to take the guns because if they don't and they think the Skullfenders did it, then they'll come after them as they only <laughs> They the already guns, think you stole the guns, the guns, so you might as well pay yeah. us for them. I mean, this is like, this is like, this plan is getting, there's so many layers. Like, we're going to get rid of them. How? Well, we're going to give them an ultimatum, but also the Empire is going to take care of them, but also they're going to use the bombs on the ship and I'll die. You're, you know, yeah. these aren't, these aren't um, all going to happen at once. We have contingency plans. It'd be so. awesome if they did that. Yes, yes, it'd be great if they all happen at once. But listen, we want to get rid of them. And one of several things might happen as a result. They yeah. might all go die in their home country. The Empire might get rid of them. They might, uh, whatever. Like, there's a lot of different ways this could go well for us. Uh, right yeah. now, all we need to worry about is getting that train and milking it of its sweet, sweet munitions. So a stealth plan requires, is where we trespass unseen. We need a, full, a point of infiltration. A deception plan is where we lure, trip, trick, or manipulate. And the detail is the method of deception. I could see it's going either way. The deception could be that we appear to be skull blenders. Um, I'm sorry, Sean. Are you still under the impression that we're going to wait for the train to dock and then board it and then leave with stuff? Can you magic us onto the train? Can we corpse toilet onto the train or whatever? No, there's no water. No. Uh, doesn't the train have to stop and get water from like those water <sighs> things? Can't I, I, we just... I mean, there needs to be a connection to the ocean. Or like the yeah. waterways and dust. All right. Um, all water for that so area. at the very least, we're going to need to acquire a way, a transport method besides the train. We're going to need to acquire some wagons, something to put all the munitions on, right? I know we can flash back to all of this, but like, let's just consider the basics. We're going to take the guns, the bombs, and we're going to put them on something, and then we're going to haul the hell ass out of, out of there. Yes? So That's doing that in town is going to be very difficult. Yeah. I am actually with Adam that the idea of knocking the train over outside of town oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, <laughs> is way more yeah. feasible that we're not going to generate a billion heat and then one. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. But right. we still need to wait. Like, once we knock over the train, what then? Presumably, we take the stuff and leave. Are you asking me how? Because I have yeah. an idea about that. Okay. Oh, we have a boat. We could... 
put stuff on our boat. If, we if we're that. next, well, if we need to get it overland on. from a railroad to the boat first. Yeah, I still have an idea about that. There are two major groups that are actually really good at dealing with this kind of shit. The first of which is the Deathland Scavengers. The second of which is the Silver Nails. You take your pick. Oh my god, I, are the Death are the Deathland Scavengers like like weird Outland like motorcycle gang kind of guys? What's, t- what's their deal? They're prisoners who have been given a sentence of here. You can you can take time off your sentence by going out to the Deathlands and dealing. With it. Oh. And they've like want to go out. Oh gosh, you want to go out into the Deathlands and rob it out there well where else is the train that sounds pretty going? hot i'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty i would that. posit that john said that all the shipments are coming into gaddock station and then being assembled and then going out so i don't think we can do that i think if we go and pick off a train we're not going to get all of it i see so what you're saying is that there might be a train track that akin to new york city runs above ground where we might explode it knock some shit over pull all the shit out and run away with it is that uh, what i'm hearing yeah or we steal out of Gaddock Station. It's all going to be in Gaddock. Go in there, stick them up, r- roll up a wagon. How many alternate rail ride? R- uh, so, like, remembering in my mind the map of uh, how many how many rail run rail lines run from outside of the city into Gaddock Station? Is it multiples or just like one by the time it gets pretty close to the city? It's, I think it's there's three. It's one by the time it gets pretty close to the city. Mm. Um, yeah, it, there, there's kind of one that goes in and one that goes out, and and at Gaddock there's multiple, and outside there's multiple that get get moved in. Um, and the, actually, there's probably like two that go in because there's probably like a high priority imperial line that only certain things can use, and then there's like the regular one. God, yeah. uh, yeah. dumped it down. Okay, so, so uh, yeah, you could like going into the Deathlands is not totally pointless. You you could intercept them out there they're all supposed to arrive roughly at the same time to minimize munitions sitting around at the train station for days um yeah i mean i said we just pick a plan you can and then we start right do, do you are you doing it in gaddock station which is like extremely high security are you doing it in the Deathland, which is extremely dangerous are you doing it while it translates across the city on the special line that goes to white crown which is going to be extremely heavily guarded. Which will be heat, a lot of heat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, oh, I'm. I, it's insane as it sounds. I'm totally for Deathlands. Like, my man. Because it's well, just because it's like the place where like the the five O is going to be too scared to go. That's, that's right. Yeah. Fair. There. That's for a good reason. Yeah. Okay. I'm not scared of that shit. All right. I'm not smart no, enough to be scared of that. Let's <laughs> go out to the Deathlands. Um. So. So John, are there um, are there like the equivalent? I don't know what they're. I forget what they're called. You know, when you see on railroads those um, people that have those like hand trucks where they can pump that pump uh-huh. the rail. Is yeah. there like a railjack equivalent of that where they like go out to do repairs on lines? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So if we got one of those, we could like go out on the track. You could. You could like. You got that stop and the train somehow. And gas masks and oh and yeah. We could, we could pretend to be yeah we could pretend to be like the the like rail guys or whatever and say like oh the rail lines damaged very dangerous leak you got to stop the train and then we can yeah. get it and then and then then we stop the train we disable all the security which is going to be many fold we get all the stuff we're gonna need our crew out we're gonna need our gang because uh because they're gonna have to like we need hands to haul all this shit to haul it into what into another cart that we brought out with us that we like row back really quick or into a boat is there any place john where water intersects the lines where we could like have our boat underway and dump stuff into the boat mm, yeah okay that that i like because we have plan, a boat already plan. all right i, I think the plan. plan is on the line with a little squeaky doll telling them that the line is damaged maybe yep. using explosives to, to make the line actually damage Although the Empire will never let us go if we do so that. So, John, we need two assets. We need a, a rolly cart, and we need Deathland scavenger masks yeah. for, every, for everybody. Right. I got you cover- I'll got you. i get you covered on the second one if you can get us covered on the first one. Okay, I need a rolly cart. Normal people. <laughs> I just am going to keep on doing this emote every time. <laughs> Ready, Sean? Here we go. <laughs> it's all old-timey. Good stuff. How is this on Twitch chat? I haven't been looking at chat. Can you see it? Does it look good? All right. Is it? Is it? Is we getting fast enough frames that you can see it, or does it just look like a one? Yeah. So, so yeah. What? Uh, what do we? Yeah. What do we need to do? Let's let's obtain. We're gonna acquire two assets. Okay. You know, 
Well, yeah. So one is the, the hand cart and one of the... No, no, John. I need more. I need more pumping. <laughs> I know. Shot, three, two, one. Go. Raising. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right. We're good. <laughs> I mean, I here's what I think we should do. I, I, I think we should... Uh, give me a, a moment to think yeah and um cut to operation uh ch change the train tracks so they go onto this like side repair i don't know enough about trains like i'm sure they have a way of yep. like, sending the trains down some other tracks that are not on the damaged rails that you guys are claiming are there mm -hmm. but what i think we could do for fun uh is to frame that scene, do our engagement role, and then make the acquire asset roles and see what quality shit you guys have. Yeah, sounds good. After the fact, uh, <laughs> well, once we're underway. See if our gas masks are like leaking and shit. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, what do you know? You're gonna take whatever you get, you don't know. Yeah, um, and and we're gonna basically assume that like whisper duty, like, um, like uh, that Oscar can protect the three of us and then our group of adepts can protect the thugs yeah. from yeah. ghosts out there, right? Like that's, we're going to have to do that because otherwise we're going to have to bring in railjacks or silver nails or deathline scavengers. Yeah, we can, we can flashback. This, this potentially will be a flashback heavy score. You guys can flashback as much as you need to, you know, whatever business you need to have in place to make all this make sense. Um, yeah. But rather cool. than trying to work out all the details, we can cut to <laughs> the fucking... Pump the train job. Yep. Uh, yeah. Um, cool. All right. That's that's great. Uh, all right. Let me let me. Do you want to think on this? Think just for a moment. Sure. Uh, yeah. While I do that, um, maybe you guys can come to a consensus about how how you're disguised. Are you making it look like the railjacks did this, or is there like what's your uh, the uh, grinders, I believe, was the... Well, the trick is going to be, how do we look like grinders under all that gear? I don't think we do. I think we just try to insinuate the grinders in as much of the crime as possible. Yeah, um, with the accents and maybe the right coloring of our coats or something. Do they have any telltale signs, John? Uh, yeah, well, they tend to wear, like, um, heavy slickers and lockport, uh, you know, gear that, like, covers their faces and bodies, because a lot of them are mutated and... Uh, right look all weird so if you if you're wearing like you know face covering fisherman gear kind of stuff uh and are all creepy and weird looking um, yep there's yeah. gonna be a scene of like rc shoving like padding into cyclops's like arms so it looks all funky and mutated and whatnot like just deal with it i don't care if it makes it stiff just, you know <laughs> um i think that's gonna be a third acquire asset honestly i think we're gonna have to acquire disguises to make them viable, make them viable yeah there are, there are disguise kits as part of our gear true we do have disguise kits we can make a roll or two if we need to to see but how do well we, the disguises hold yeah but we need to disguise everybody to some degree i assume they are blades and they can also have some disguised gear yeah okay okay there enough that there's some reasonable doubt zone and people will be looking in the wrong corners before it eventually gets back to us I mean, oh i know what we need we need code names so, there you go yeah so you can be hutton and uh and we'll say them really loud a bunch yeah. of times <laughs> i'm gonna just talk about how much i hate the empire and how much scovlin rules all the time just constantly so or boy the empire they're sure terrible aren't they yes yeah, just the I... worst oh those guys i do so love my beard though mm. <laughs> I grew up myself in Scotland, where I'm from. Uh, oh, oh Be boy. So mutated. I, yeah. I do I love my mutations. Oh, my, my mutations. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever part of me is mutated, it's very sore right now. Mm, <laughs> a sore angry. mutation. Yeah. Ah, my spine. I see a, a wee spot of golf. <laughs> <Maria. laughs> yeah. You're going to kill me. <laughs> Oh, my glands. They're so full of whatever mutated me. Boy, 
That emperor, he's there the worst over there. <laughs> he's the jerk. Coming. Oh, that. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, no. I, this is Ooh. it, everybody. This is it, Twitch. We're not doing the score. We're just doing our crappy Scottish. Uh, <laughs> yeah, welcome to the long. next two hours. <laughs> Buckle up, friends. <laughs> Here we go. It's gonna be a wild ride. It's gonna be a wee fine time. All right, so we're going to the tune. No, that's Jordy. I'm oh, sorry. I'm I'm going into Jordy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. So just like standing, standing in the mirror, putting on my fake beard. I look like Santa Claus, and I'm just like practicing my Scovin accent. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. All right. How are we getting? How are we getting these things? We need. Are, are we? Are we stealing? We're, we're gonna deal. We're gonna flash back to getting them. No, we'll buy them. We'll rent them. We'll 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 acquire them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll get them somehow. And yeah. and this is a uh, this is all hands on deck, right? I mean, you want the it's, full it's everyone because we need. We I mean, need obviously, the, you got need Cyclops is fine. Thugs to do the heavy lifting and beat up dudes. Right. And we need Oscar's weirdos to protect them when they go out on the boat. Yeah. So and. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's everyone, yeah. Which means we're leaving our turf undefended. So hopefully this doesn't go badly. And uh I mean like yeah, we're leaving our turf unprotected, but like can't can't you just put a ward on that or whatever, make your <laughs> Sure, dude, sure. So, I don't know. <laughs> so I want I want you to know this, Cantor, just for you. I'm I'm taking it into this card and I'm writing down get a ward or whatever. Yeah, right? just put a magic bubble over it just just put a bird on it <laughs> just, just alarm that shit with magic and we'll go magic yeah. bubble i'll get right out of that yeah, yeah. like dalaran just do it <laughs> just like dalaran Wrote it and so, float hey, our turf in the fine. sky fine. thank you warcraft yeah yeah leaving your turf completely undefended and not selling any drugs is you know it's for uh, one day. It's a bit of an issue, but we'll it's just done. close the doors and be like, "Be back in a couple minutes." Yeah, yo, we <laughs> out, we out crimin'. John, we'll ruthlessly we'll... brutalized. Uh, you can be like, "Hey, and watch our stuff too. Make sure nothing happens to it." Uh, I mean, we we <laughs> could. We are at, we are at, at at very high faction status with the Lamp Blacks. We could ask them to watch our stuff. It is not unreasonable. I just assume they're gonna it, fuck us I, while we're going. I think this is an important question. Do you just silently like pull out and go and do the thing and hope no one really notices? And Listen, we have back? we have or our our you... layer. Our layer is both hidden and yeah. secure. It is. So I'm not. I would rather lock the doors and just go on vacation for a couple of days. Come back in eight hours. Yeah. Then try to get some backstabbing piece of shit to watch our stuff. Because yeah. you know they're going to try to fuck us. Okay. And also so, the word will get out. Um, honestly, I would rather shit gets kicked in and then we go and murder whichever stupid motherfucker decided exactly. that, that was the yeah. plan. Yeah, we come back with all of our bombs. So I say them. what we do is we leave. All the bombs. We leave. Because our, our gangs are, are – we're tier two, strong. And um, and uh, we got we – got, gangs with lots of people in them i think we leave a person or two as lookout so that if somebody kicks us in kicks the door in, we know who did it we don't have to fucking do the whole eel shabail sh sh yeah. deal. so we have somebody watch the shop we have somebody like patrol our turf and tell them not to engage stay out of trouble uh but you know but just report it on there is a chat is reminding us yeah we got friends yeah that's true we do have friends you have a plus three faction status with the Dimmer Sisters? With the Dimmer Sisters. You know who I assume is good at magic bubbles? Those ladies. If you're going to pick somebody to, you know, put a ward on Vampire it. Vampire bubble. Yeah. Or whatever they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're the, they, maybe they could do that. I don't know. I mean, they're, they certainly really like you for some reason that we still don't know. Uh, yeah. It's because Oscar is weird and I'm hot and no one understands why anyone likes I Oscar. say, <laughs> um, I say the other thing that we could do is if Roth or Quellen, well, if Roth in particular is available, we uh, he might owe us a favor. Where uh, are the Dimmer Sisters in our neighborhood? Or are they out? They're close. They're they're yeah. in they're in they're, they're close. In yeah. yeah. So yeah. we can, you know what we'll ask them. They might have their own shit going down. They can I hang some of those spooky stick things from the house and make everybody all spookified and want to stay away from it. Yeah, okay, yeah, all right. Cool. Also, I just realized that the three of us are uh, 
hot, weird, and scary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dog. It's gonna be great. True. Uh, okay, yeah, maybe that's a good plan. Maybe the Dimmer Sisters Spice will look girls. after our precious okay. stuff. You're also the Apocalypse World stats. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, true. Yeah, hot, weird, and hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, uh, that's cool. Yeah, we, yeah, we need I, that fourth player as a slide. <laughs> that's cool because none of us the fuck are. No, that's true. <laughs> What's your way of dealing with I things? I think we just all think we're cool. So yeah, um, what do we need to do then? Do is that an extra step or do we just? Let's. If you guys say like, yeah, Dimmer Sisters, we're we're friends. They like us. We like them. They'll yeah. take. They'll they'll handle it in some way. We trust them. Yep. Yeah. That's. I'm actually fine with that. I'll I'll think of a thing that they do and I'll tell you about it when it comes up. Okay. Cool. Sounds great. Cool. I mean, I, it, you guys really do have plus three with them. They're not. They're yeah. not gonna screw you or something. Well, and I, I actually really think that that Cantor like maybe doesn't understand any of the supernatural stuff about the Dimmer Sisters, but thinks of them as like his weird grandma, and like he's definitely yeah. like gone to their house for tea and like dressed up nice and sat there and been like, mm-hmm, uh-huh. Watch, watch this okay, now. Okay, Mima. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Listen to their weird stories and then gone home. <laughs> like yeah, the, the the chocolate chip cookies. And, yeah, he's a, yeah. He's well, a beautiful we, grandson to his weird. Grandma. And you know, all of our all of our when we use them as a staging ground, like all of our guys like took off their shoes and were like really polite. <laughs> yeah. They're like all our dudes like totally kitted out and like all this garb. Like with teeth. <laughs> you gotta be nice to weird grandma because yeah. that's how we do. Well, it. I think they were terrified of weird grandma too, so it yeah. it helped. Cool. Okay. Uh, yeah. Great. Dimmer sisters on alert. Okay, I'm making a note. Dimmer sisters hold BL's turf while they're away. Yeah. However, the Dimmer sisters do that kind of thing. Yeah. We don't know. Eh, I, I think they can do it. Should be fine. Uh, cool. All right. So let's get into the job. Yeah. Should we roll engagement? Yeah. Let's do. Let's do that. Yeah. 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 We'll, um, we'll establish our opening scene and i i think that this is honestly a deception method i don't think it's stealth we're yeah. trying to deceive them into thinking that we are railjacks and then <laughs> scovelanders um yeah, it's, the, it's the double rubber mask scooby-doo <laughs> <laughs> yeah pull up our gas mask and we have fake beards <laughs> old man jenkins wait <laughs> it's old man mccallan to you boy <laughs> Coleman, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I have to be. No wait, that's Irish. <laughs> I'll, I'll work on it. <laughs> a Scotland accent can be whatever you want, you know. Yeah. Just, yeah. Well, I just assume. I just assume they're that that island from The Witcher where everyone is like supposed to be kind of Vikings but kind yeah, of Scottish. Totally. Yep, yep. Yeah. Yep. That's that's what I think too. Yeah. Definitely not the horrible, horrible Skyrim accents. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or the like, how to train your dragon Vikings. Yeah. Oh, that was so bad. Yeah, why were they Scottish? Why? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you uh, get one die for sheer luck. When yeah, you, we'll need it. Um, and then we answer some questions. Is this operation particularly bold or daring? <laughs> Come on, John. If anyone earns a die, it is totally that one. <laughs> All right, let's dress up in two different disguises and go into the Deathlands. Okay, let's stop a train and steal all the guns off of it. Yeah, That's two dice. We're now, it, however, there's a follow-up question on this bullet: Is this operation overly complex or contingent on several? Yes. <laughs> I'm overly com. I mean, I think it's just as complex as it needs to be. <laughs> the, the, the twist that it i think makes it complex is we specifically want to pin it on the skull blenders. okay I well think... here, here's here's how here's how i wonder if we can if we can is it possible we could do this in a simpler way because if not then it's not that complex it's as literally as complex as, as it needs to be but like uh, yeah not not trying to pretend to be skull blenders is the way or not trying to pretend but that to would be... make it not deception right like, wouldn't that mean that an assault plan is always yeah. the least complex thing to do? Well, it's also contingencies too. Yes. Like, it's not just complications. It's like, you know, d this needs to happen and this needs to happen. Like an assault where like we need to get across the bridge and then we have to break down their door and then we have to get into their vault. And then, you know, a bunch of- So the of contingencies different... here are we need the train to stop and then we need yep. to murder everyone on board and then we need control, to get away with get, the shit. Get control of the switch from whoever normally controls it because it's not you reroute the train or for someone to do it seize the cars and the locomotive take them where you want to take them yeah but all the while not, posing as like as grinders crazily complicated per I mean, se yeah but, um 
I mean, I, I don't I think mean, there is a simple way to do this job, honestly. Well, I mean, I don't blowing up the train. Like just derailing the fucker and then pillaging it. Yeah, but we'd it. still have to do that in the Deathlands. We'd, that would still be comp- – like I don't know that this is a simple job no matter how we slice it. Right. Uh, that's my point is I don't think we're getting dinged because we're using deception. I think we're getting dinged because we're trying to rob a train. And that is So not just a, by nature the job In is... our wheelhouse, right? Like we're not yeah. knocking over – Honestly, I, I think the real ding is that it's – it's you're doing it in the Deathlands where more things can go wrong. Um, as and and avoiding like lots of armed guards and shit in exchange for that. I'm hoping yeah. ghosts just eat them, so. but that's you know totally possible. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So one, does the plan's detail expose a vulnerability of the target or hit them where they're weakest? I think it's exposing a vulnerability. We're particularly it's exposing a vulnerability. Yeah, we're poking them where they don't have all the military support that they would have. Yeah, we were actively choosing to hit them at a time where they're going to be less easily defended. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All, all those soldiers presumably are at the guard station. Not yeah. Here. Yeah. Not on the train because who would be so crazy as to go out to the Deathlands to rob a train? Right. Yeah. Who would do that? Uh, do they have special defenses or special preparations? Not particular. I mean, they do, but not like anything special for this they don't have anti-blood letter guns <laughs> <laughs> those don't exist can't or nothing yes. can any of your friends or contacts provide aid or insight for this operation it feels like the dimmer sisters are helping us in order to get our full leverage out and that's before we do any flashbacks does that that doesn't help you with the train though no anybody got any friends petra probably doesn't know anything about trains <laughs> She she could get you the schedules from some classified file probably, but you already know that. Yeah. yeah. Like, um. I mean, we could bring people like Marlene around. Um. Uh, there is an important question that I need to ask, and the Mercy? first question is to John. Uh, does Quillen have? Uh, is it Ghost Warren? That's the ability for wreckers to keep supernatural things at bay using chemicals. Mm, she might, actually. Uh, it's kind of the sort of thing she might do. That might be useful for keeping us safe. Um, yeah, warding, the, might... warding the, the, our, our boat, at least. Uh, well, your boat won't be in the Deathlands. Your boat is inside the Lightning Barrier. Yeah, but we need to get the boat to where the train... Oh, are we going to lead the train inside the lightning barrier and unload it there? Is that possible? That's where the water is. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Excellent. There's water outside the lightning barrier. Just depends there on... There is. It just the train tracks don't... Yeah. Go to it. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm they do. Yeah, I mean, you could... It's it will be complicated. I'm with you. <laughs> well, we want we want to simplify it. So yeah. so RC has some friends that may be on the job, but I don't think they're going to give us any special advantage. It's not like we have a railjack friend or yeah. a yeah yeah we don't yeah, we don't, don't really have like, anybody in the engineering core or whatever to help us out. We right. don't have a Deathland scavenger friend. I mean, you know the you know the the crew, but yeah, you don't have a friend in that group. Okay, so two uh, enemies arrivals interfering. Nope. Um. Are there any other elements we need to consider? Tier is a factor. Hmm. Yeah, tier is kind of a factor, actually. Yep. This is this is some of the most com- complicated technology in the setting, and you guys are just going to kind of wing it a little bit. Like the more complicated the technology, the easier it is to break. Uh, I'm going to say minus one for that actually okay uh so that you have one you have one die that seems like a good good, good die <laughs> yeah Adam, that's not zero. oh jesus all right yeah. what's how do i how do i do this what's the, which what do i click for the fortune roll on these sheets uh it's down below your friends all right yeah it's roll fortune there it is all right there's no bad engagement rolls <laughs> Number of dice, Uno. They're all Says fun you. anyway. There you go. That's pretty good. Hey. Five. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, no, not a desperate situation. If we get a one to three, that means we get XP for starting in a desperate situation. Yeah, we get more XP. So, <sighs> it's okay. How's that, bad Josh? Uh, well, cool. I think. Um, so we know it's uh, it's a risky situation. We're going to cut in to you guys on the. El Pumpo um, <laughs> with the score in progress. 
I think maybe we should take our first break. It's been about an hour. So yeah, yeah let's uh, do it. When we come back, we will start the train job and see what happens. Sounds good. Stick around. We got lots more bloodletting, probably a lot of blood actually and ghosts yeah. and shit. So stick around. Yeah. We'll be right back. 